Welcome to Postscript. Here we hope to answer your questions and help you dig deeper into the messages and sermons at FaithBridge by talking with the teacher of the day. Hi, and welcome to Postscript. I'm Dan Slagle, care and missions pastor here at Faith Bridge, and I'm with Ben Stewart, who just brought us a, a terrific message, part two of our Above and Beyond series. Yep. And today, Ben, your focus was on Proverbs 31, uh, specifically the amazing description of a Proverbs 31 woman. Yes. Good, good message, man. Thanks. Thank, when thank I heard you. you crushed part one, man, I haven't listened to it yet, but. Well, just trying to keep up with you, friend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we do have a question okay. which came in, Let's and do I, it. I'm not surprised. I, I actually could have anticipated this. I'm sure uh, there were some women out there hearing this, on the one hand, being very, very encouraged by it and something to aspire to, but on the other hand, thinking, yeah, but I am a wife and I am a working woman and I am a mom and I am this and I am, and just wondering how, yeah. how do I keep everything going, all the plates spinning and, you know, have a, a semblance of balance in my life. Yeah. Wow. That's a great question. I don't know if I'm going to solve all that. I, I do think... It's important to keep in mind with this woman, like when people tend to ask, how do you separate? So should a woman pursue her career and have someone else watch kids, mm -hmm. raise the kids and then give up the career? How does all that balance? In the ancient world there, your career was out of your home, you know? So mm -hmm. you go, she is in a sense, again, sewing, is she just sewing clothes for her family? You're like, well, the merchants are wearing her clothes and she's, raise profit to buy a vineyard. So you go, she's got more than just a homemaker thing, but right. but she's at home because really that was all done in the same place, which the world nowadays kind of provides for that. You can do yeah, some to of that. Yeah, to a degree, sure does. But, um, but the text doesn't solve for you the modern challenge we have of typically people go away to work mm -hmm. or you're at home with the kids. And so Proverbs 31, I don't think should be used to advocate one over the other. Okay. You know, so for me, Donna is at home with the kids. And, you know, if you add up the amount of money we say from her raising them and what she does, you go, then we would more than make up for it mm -hmm. uh, than if she was employed and we were paying people. Um, and she finds ways to influence young women, mentor young women. She's mentoring women who are involved in the work world and she's found her way mm -hmm. to be a Proverbs 31 woman, but she's not selling textiles. Or you can be out here and be providing for young maidens, some of whom are caring for your kids. There's, there's a version of being the workforce woman or the at-home woman that really fills Proverbs mm -hmm. 31. But that balance of how to do it all, our world has made that challenging for women. And again, yeah. I, I think it's okay. Maybe part of the help is acknowledging, hey, that's challenging. Yeah. And Scripture is not trying to make you one or the other. Sure. Not in Proverbs 31. Do you think it would be fair to say that um, there is no one overarching principle for that situation in life? Rather, it's a case by you know, e each yep. family has to determine what's best for us. Uh, do we have overwhelming financial needs that necessitate mom working? Yep. Uh, if that's the case, then really my word of encouragement or perhaps even rebuke would be to dad, you know, yeah. make sure you're doing your part yeah. so that mom isn't feeling all stressed totally. uh, about these things. Yeah. Well, and I love that too, that it really struck me studying it. You go, all the principles in here, the man has already been challenged mm -hmm. to embody for 30 chapters, you know, so you go, he's been pressed to be this kind of person. Right. Of, and, but... Some men get off the hook where I get the paycheck and so I don't have to engage with the kids at this level. Yeah. And you're like, this is a dad training his kid, you know? And so I do think it's important to, um, to we're all in this together. Mm -hmm. And Proverbs puts a lot of that work out in front of them as a family. Let's figure out how we make sure we all win. Good. And that's what you want is, like you said, curating it. So for me, 
when workers come to the house, Donna usually works with them. She's better at that. I'm like, all right, fine. Exercise your gifts. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So everybody wins. You got to find your way that works. Yeah. yeah, I can appreciate that. Yeah. Well, hey, great message. Thanks, Thanks for bro. being here. And uh, we are praying for you and all that's happening up there in D.C. Thanks, bro. Sounds exciting. Appreciate it. Yeah. Glad you were with us, too. And we'll see you next time on Postscript. Thanks for joining us for Postscript. Help us keep the podcast interactive by submitting your questions during the morning services. Learn more at faithbridge.org slash postscript.